like I put those out not like I don't like I didn't even like promote them or anything yeah. like even now I I should promote more than I do is that I, difficult I, for you to get into that kind of promotion it's weird space? because yeah. like especially with what I'm doing like like I said I don't tell people like oh I'm a rapper like I hate how that sounds i hate yeah. like when people say it to me and so like i don't expect anyone to be like oh this random skinny white dude is a rapper like oh everyone is so like, i just don't <laughs> tell people like like literally if, if they find out they find out i hope you like it yeah, yeah i know I what think, you mean i feel I that way that. with the I was gonna podcast say, sometimes because self-promotion is a, is kind of a difficult thing to do because yeah. you right. don't want to like you know Especially on like plat, you know, like your personal platforms and stuff. A lot of those, a lot of these people you know, or at least are somehow connected to, and it's not. You, you almost like don't want to f- shove it down their throat in a sense. Um, like you don't want to over be like, hey, like you have to check this out right. kind of stuff. And it's almost like also, it's like a vulnerability thing. Like okay, now I'm putting this out there, and people that maybe didn't know before now they know, and that can be a good and a bad thing because chances are they're going to check it out. Right, which mm-hmm. can benefit you, but if you're not, you know, super comfortable with, with doing that, it's t- it's tough to get yourself to get there. But I think in the long run, especially you know, with where you're at, you know, you have a good base of music out there available for people to listen. You've been involved in different shows and at different places with with well known people, right? I think that you know, once you take that step, it's only going to continue to grow your brand, right? Yeah. That, yeah, that's one thing I miss about shows is like the random people that yeah. I wouldn't have normally even reached. Like, yeah, I, we opened for um, this artist called Wax like two years ago, and apparently he's not allowed in Canada or something. Travel, I don't, I didn't ask, I didn't care, but it happens. Um, but he has a lot of Canada fans, and we're pretty close to there. So when he played in Buffalo, like a lot more than half of the people that showed up for him were just straight from Canada. So that's like a whole audience that I had never, like they've never yeah, seen us never, perform yeah. or anything. And it's funny because after that show, there was like a couple random people after every show, people come up to you that you don't know. And it's just like congratulating you almost. Yeah. It's, it's kind of weird, but um, I'm really bad at taking compliments too. So I'm just like, Oh, cool, man. And like go on yeah. my way. But that show, there were people from like Canada, like, taking pictures with us and stuff and that was the weirdest thing that i've experienced because they like to them like yeah you just played a show right and i opened for like one of their favorite rappers so like to them i'm like almost someone but like to me like i don't like where did those pictures end up like yeah who the hell has pictures (laughs) somewhere out there like that's that's so funny to me i uh i can speak on that a little bit from the the side of uh like the audience member because i was uh at in shirkston like uh ontario Mm -hmm. one time and there's a bar there that they have like live music and bands and the one night we had been drinking all day and we we went because there was live music and cheap drinks and and i was you know i had definitely had a lot to drink and it was a rush cover band that was playing that night and i was loving it (laughs) like i have never been more like in touch at a performance with the band that was playing than I was at this night. Like, I'm saying I was fronting. So they ended, and I was hammered. And I just had to talk to, the, like, the dude playing the guitar. Like, I was like, I got to talk to that guy. He was so good. And I could only imagine what he thought of me coming up to him. Right. Saying, like, dude, you re- you play Rush cover songs really good. Man. I don't even know what <laughs> I could You do Rush saying. good. Yeah, you do Rush really good, bro. Thanks. I appreciate your performance. Yeah, but... uh so, I don't know. Could have been one of those situations. But yeah. I think that we all know folks that maybe do a little too much chest thumping. And tell me if you feel this way. There's a, there's a part that of you that you just don't want to become that person. Mm-hmm. You know, because it seems maybe like you lose part of yourself when you get into well, that. But at the same time... To like- it's almost necessary now, especially like you were saying. That's something that I had not considered with the, uh, you know, with the the shows being gone. Is that that's a way people discover yeah. new artists and stuff. Like when this when Yoked was like when that was coming out. Like first of all, it got delayed like mm-hmm. a lot. It was supposed to come out like September, but I just like fucked around all quarantine basically. Um, but 
I was supposed to be like opening for big acts like all summer. Like there was a bunch of shows planned and like so many shows, little shows would have been in between. And like I could have promoted the album at all of those shows. And even once it came out, I could have had hard copies, handed those out, had the link on like a scan thing. Like so many different things could have happened, um, but everything was canceled. So I was like, well, it's not like I can really promote this the way I want to. So I'm not going to rush to get it out. That's what I tell myself now, but in reality, I'm just lazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's always good to reinforce your own like mental state. Like I did that for a reason, right? Yeah, yeah. that's how I am too. <laughs> I don't know if it's always a good thing. Well, it's better than being like fuck, dude, and like being like I should have done this earlier. Yeah, that's I agree. how I but, would look at it. But what you're talking about, I mean, that's a completely different skill set. Is somebody putting Promoting, up right, man. putting up oh, like yeah. a video on Twitter or something, being like, "This is what's going on," and also like. Those folks who their Instagram stories are like 19 little dots or stuff, even more. And it's like, here we are at the mixing thing. And then, you know, whatever you call it, the mixing board. And then here we are in the booth. And it's, you know, you see that and it's like, that's weird. But yeah. I I don't know. I guess it's maybe it's, it's on its way out, but it feels the skill that I would rather have is the in person. Right. Yeah, it's so much easier, especially at a show. Like they had just heard you. Like yeah. they already know what right. they're signing the ice up for. Is, the ice is broken. Yeah. Cuz they so cuz so they kind of already know if they if they like you or not. Right. And huh. they would they wouldn't be talking to me if they if didn't. If they didn't. So exactly. right. it, it yeah, like it. me and that guy from the Rush cover band. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have talked to it all comes like back it. to that. 